is such a horrible thing to endure. Hmm. It is, but I have also survived worse. Hmm. I am one that if something is going to happen, it's going to happen regardless of the effort you put into it. The best you can do is just try to endure it. Endure. <laughs> See, when these butcher boys took me, I offered myself as bait. Uh, I am a bounty hunter, so a Ooh. lot of what I do is to gather information. And the information that was available, a lot of it did not match. <clears throat> too many people, too many stories, uh, not a lot of things lined up. So I decided to be bait and find this information for myself so I knew for a fact what I was looking for. And that is uh, part of my duty is protecting my people. I am willing to risk my life to spare others that pain. <clears throat> One thing that I do or I will attempt regardless, it may not be uh, come out good in the end, but I tend to try to use my words more than anything else. Most of the time. It kind of works. If you can get at least one individual in the group questioning it, it tends to turn on each other. And they completely ignore you. It's a way I got away with a lot of stuff with my siblings, but <laughs> my parents didn't appreciate it too much. <laughs> I will work <clears throat> with my father on your words, and uh, it is my hope he will be around sometime tonight. I would like you to uh, meet him in this regard. Let's see what he has to say. Most definitely. I, t I appreciate uh, this as well. But uh, if for whatever reason, Joining Komenshi does not work out for you. I will get you in touch with Subwili. She's a Cherokee woman. Oh, yes, I'm aware of uh, I'm actually good friends with her. Good, good. I just do not want you feeling left out in the cold if uh, things do not work out. I want <laughs> to make sure everyone finds a home. Hmm. Yes, I do appreciate it. That was quite a short rainfall. Out here in uh, the more arid areas, they do not last long. <laughs> I come from the Smoky Mountains. When it rains, it rains. Loud thunder, lot of light, and it's a complete uh, show, one would say. Jeez, everyone just walks in. Oh, dear God. <laughs> what? Wait, what, what, what happened? That's actually kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. What just happened? Just because you also get a double as my campaign model. Duh. Okay, man. Yeah, I mean, do you want me to tell you why not? Is there qualifications to be governor? Uh, no. <sighs> I'm gonna deal with my horse. I did do that. I literally went the opposite direction. He's just being stubborn, it seems like. Seems like he's being stubborn. Oh, no, he's not listening. <laughs> he's being super. Her horse is being so stubborn. That's actually kind of funny. Come on. Why are you being a brat? <laughs> Requested that his name be stricken from the record. 
Yeah, so I was, for his sake, I didn't record it in my statement, so I wasn't going to give it to you Absolutely. on yours. Um, but I, I can let on that he did say he was on the payroll at Chola Ranch. So if you wanted to start looking and try to figure it out, you can start there. Mmm, interesting. Not a problem, Bigby. You take care. <clears throat> What's up? There's a massive gathering of people just outside of town. Yes, I saw them walk that way. Hmm. I might have a... Oh, okay. I just felt like I was way too far away from my character for some reason. These dogs have a very strange amount of trust for not getting run over. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've almost ran over one. <laughs> My horses seem to not care what's in front of them. If you're in the way, they'll just keep going. Mm, that is the uh, downside for smaller animals of uh, big ones with big feet. <laughs> My other horse is the worst at it. This one, on the other hand, not so much. <laughs> I will admit, sometimes it is difficult doing nothing. <laughs> I want to hunt these people <clears throat> for what they did to me. Yes. After what they have done to Subwili and many others. I consider but, uh, myself lucky considering how much I do travel by myself. Mm. But the main thing that stops me is... Uh, Seeing what happens to these vigilantes, because they go in unprepared, they get very badly hurt. One thing, the worst thing that you can do is go into something off of feelings alone. Huh. Most of the time you make rash decisions, and they're not necessarily good ones. I have had to learn over the years. Never act on emotion. <laughs> My father taught me that. <clears throat> In a way. I was ready to, uh, <laughs> to kill anyone and everyone for the slightest insult in my direction. Oh my goodness. I was a very angry woman in my youth. <laughs> I guess I have my mother to thank for, uh, myself not to dip that way. I'm just a bit, uh, well, I'm the reason my parents started to go gray. Um, if it wasn't for the fact that my father wanted a son, I'd be an only child, if that tells you anything. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I fell off a cliff at the age of six and didn't, and woke up five days later. My poor mother, I had a, I, I still, I don't think to this day I made up for it. Did I learn from it? Yeah. I don't know. Consider and I've fallen off of many others since then. <laughs> just because you repeat a mistake does not mean you have not learned from it. You have just not learned how to avoid it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess that's fair, yes. But my mother said that my father was uh, kind of like uh, how you were when you were younger. Just quick to anger. Initially, and he will never admit it, but uh, she calmed that down out of him. <laughs> he will never admit it. Most men do not. They do not like to admit when a woman changes them, <laughs> even if it is for the better. My parents changed each other. My, my father had goals to protect the peoples. Um, to fight against corruption where corruption did not belong such as uh, within deputy departments or within governments he always fought against these injustices my mother had a different approach she saw something wrong she would try to infiltrate and change it from within peacefully two different approaches but eventually Same goal. Um, yes Originally, my mother and father were at war with each other. They wanted nothing but the other's blood. 
Oh, goodness. My mother was a deputy. And she was taught to believe that the Comanche were pure evil, wanted nothing but bloodshed, conflict for the sake of conflict. My father believed my mother to be twisted, corrupted by these departments, that, uh, that she had forgotten her roots, who she was. And that she was betraying everything she was to support a government that did not care what happened to her people. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fake if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up.